Hi everyone, Alexa here with the Duval Homestead where I write about natural living, homesteading, and farm to table recipes and eating and organic lifestyle, all the things that we like to do to have a very natural household here at our homestead. And today I wanna to share with you how to make a pot roast with beef. So we recently ordered a quarter cow of meat. So we got a lot of cuts of different meat. So this is a pot roast and I'm gonna show you how I'm going to make it. Now this is a locally sourced grass-fed organic beef and I talk about why we got this and how we got it on my blog post at theduvalhomestead.com, including a resource that you can use if you are wondering if you can get something like this near you. Now you can make roast chicken, you can make roast beef by essentially putting a meat, like a chicken or a beef, in a roasting pot like a Dutch oven and adding onions and garlic and carrots and red wine or whatever herbs and flavors you want to add and simply letting it slow cook for a long time at a low temperature. Now the reason that you let it slow cook is so that you get that really nice tender meat that falls off the bone. If you cook it at a high temperature really fast, your meat's gonna be a lot more tough. So the best way to do this is definitely to plan ahead and maybe put it in in the morning or early afternoon and let it sit. So that's what we're gonna do here. So we have a very large beef pot roast meat here that we got, but for this recipe you're going to need onion, garlic, carrots, and I'm using beef, and then I'll use fresh herbs, and I'll use some red wine, and then I'll use homemade bone broth. Now, we love cooking with bone broth. I have bone broth on, ha on hand at all times because I roast chicken, and we always throw in some beef bones and whatnot. There are a ton of nutrients in bone broth, so if you're not making homemade bone broth right now, you can check out how to do that on one of my videos I post how to do it. I highly recommend it because then you don't have to buy bone broth from the store, which is so expensive, and it's more nutri nutritious for you to make it by yourself anyway because you are simply taking the bones and making it very fresh so there's no preservatives or additives in it whatsoever. Um, so you're gonna get that collagen and the gelatin from the bone and it's just so healthy for you. So we use bone broth for sauces and roasts and soups, and chili, anything, everything has bone broth in it. So that is really good for your hair, skin and nails and I highly recommend making bone broth. So we're going to use it with this recipe as well. So I just preheated the oven to 275 degrees. So first we're going to heat the Dutch oven pot on medium high on the stove and add olive oil. And I'm going to just caramelize the onions by themselves. And I just did a rough chop here. If you are short on time, you can actually just chop an onion in half and just caramelize it on its own. And then when we're done sauteing the onions, we're gonna take them out. the carrots to the olive oil and simply saute the carrots as well. So while the carrots are sauteing, I'm also going to chop up some garlic. The full recipe with all of these details will be on my blog at theduvalhomestead.com and you can search pot roast. And I'll have a card on there you can print for free with everything, all the details. So you can just store that in your recipe box or whatever you use. saute the garlic on its own because garlic cooks really fast and I don't want to burn it so I'll probably just add it to the pot for the roast. I'm gonna go ahead and get my meat ready as well so I actually just rinse this meat and then I'm gonna I just pat it dry and I'm just gonna add some salt and pepper to both sides Look at those juices, looking really good. It's really important that your meat is room temperature. You don't want it to be frozen. Not saying I've never done it, but it's definitely not as good. It does not taste as good when it's not fresh um, and, and brought to room temperature. And I don't know about you, but we like really tender meat. We do not like when the meat is tough. Okay, now we're gonna take those out and then we're going to add the meat and we're gonna just saute each side of it. This is just to get that kind of crispy layer on the outside so that the meat isn't completely watery or soft when it's roasted. Next, we're gonna take some red wine. I'm gonna pour it in the pot and this is just to scrape up any bits that are still stuck on the bottom. It really adds a nice flavor as well. So we're gonna leave this in here, but just kind of scrape around and make sure you've got all of the bits kind of taken up off the bottom because the pot was really hot. Next, I'm going to add some seasoning. So I'm gonna use some fresh herbs. And actually these are dried herbs that we had dried a few weeks ago. And it's some sage and rosemary. And I'm also gonna grab some um, oregano and garlic powder. When you order 
a from a farmer and get a whole cow or whatever, half a cow, sometimes you get really large cuts, which is totally fine. So we're gonna keep that in there and then we're going to add the onions and carrots. And the herbs and the garlic. Okay, lastly, we wanna fill this up with our broth, our bone broth. Now, if you don't have uh, homemade bone broth, you can use store-bought beef broth if you'd like. I love our broth. We combine chicken and beef bones, and it's really good. So I'm gonna fill this up. And I think I need a little bit more. Nice layer of gelatin there. Get that in the roast. That's the best part. So then you just cover it and you're gonna put it in the oven to roast. Um, I'm gonna do about three hours and then we're gonna keep checking it. You know your meat is done when it reaches 145 degrees Fahrenheit and it should be just falling off the bone, tender, juicy, and that's exactly what we have here. You definitely don't want to overcook this, so when you're done, just put it on warm, and that way you can eat it later if you're not ready to eat yet. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this homemade pot roast recipe. Remember, you can make this so many different ways. The key is really to, to do a long roast at a low temperature. And this is great for if you wanna go out and about during the day and you want dinner to be ready when you get home, or even just enjoying this in the winter time or if it's a cold, rainy day, which it is today, which is why I made it. It is getting to be springtime here, and typically we do roasts towards the fall winter season and not so much in the summertime. But since it's not summer yet, I wanted to make sure that we kept doing roasts and kept doing the really hearty dinners um, until we really wanted to just only do the barbecue for the summertime. So I'm just wanting to do this even though it's still March because roasts are so good and they're so healthy for you. So that's why we're cooking this today. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to share it with someone else you think would like it. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe because every week I post a farm to table recipe or homesteading and other natural living that we do here at our homestead at Duval. So thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you next week.